This is our initial dashboard, we're looking at England. We use a subset here of local economic partnerships, but we can use cities, we can use counties, EU areas, nuts levels. We're looking at wards here, so each one of these areas is a ward in London. I've started at London, because it's nice and busy. We're looking at businesses. We're looking at knowledge businesses, particularly in financial services. Just so you know, um, Peckham is just around here. Trotter and Sons don't appear in this list, and that's for people of a certain age. Um, but what we do see is if we zoom all the way back, we can see quite quickly, this is live streaming data, the growth of the financial services sector in London over the years. So quite interesting. What does it tell you? You hover over it, you find out which companies are there. You've also got the data behind this, so we know where those companies are, who the directors are, in the same way you would have companies house. But we use the mosaic of information to find out where those companies actually are, not just the registered address. So we get this quite rich information about what's happening in an environment and also types of businesses tell you about the types of skills they have. Okay, so we've done that. We can move around the country. I'll just uh, move you away from London, go to where the best football team in the world is. Isn't that right, Malcolm? It is. Uh, so Liverpool <laughs> FC, 7-0 winners recently. Uh, so this is, this is Liverpool. We can look at financial services here, mainly in the city centre. We look towards the more wealthy areas as well. We can flip this around to look at different sectors. Malcolm, one for you again. Let's look at pharma. Different number of businesses. We'll look down here, we'll see some familiar names. Uh, Allegan, even by pharma, you recognize them. You probably know some of them, don't you, Malcolm? And equipment suppliers as well, there's any as Caddy. So we're pulling up quite specific information very quickly. Right, so we can move beyond um, and look at what's happening in research. So again, this is just a subset of the research database we have. We've got 90 million records describing global research. You know, who the people are, where they are, who they're working with, and when they worked, and what on. Who wants them? <laughs>